Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be jumping back with our Panda series. And today we're really going to look at uh, the mean method for a data frame. And then we're going to use it in a real world scenario. So alright, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos. And we, we don't need that as of right now. We'll do that later. So all right, we're going to look at a data frame. And I'll have this down in the description below. So let's just go ahead and bring this into memory. So all right, but uh, the thing about what we do, we do micro videos and we build upon them. And then so you can kind of have an understanding and you're not lost. And then in this scenario, we're going to have one to actually have a real use for it. So all right, uh, what the mean method does is the average. And let's just look at it. So help dot data frame mean. And this is just to show you how how it defaults. So all right, index 0, column 1. So it's going to go down the columns. So we're going to call and you can get very sophisticated as always everything with pandas. You can get very sophisticated very very quickly. So we're going to keep this pretty clean and clear and have a uh, case for this. So alright. Uh, axis. So df mean Ah, here we go. So let's look. My columns are, well, actually let's bring this in so we can look at it. There we go. So here are my rows, here are my columns. And it's going to mean, it's going to average the columns. So column A is 1.75, 2.54, and 2.5 again. So that's awesome and handy and you're like, okay, wow. Well, alright, we've also been working with um, null or non or empty values and in data science it happens a lot uh, more than more than it should but it's it, it happens just I mean human error you have processing errors you have a variety of uh, options so alright with and I'll have this this down below as well so okay let's bring this in now and Aha! Forgot that we need import numpy as mp. All right, here we go. So we put this in. So now here's a bunch of empty datas. And past three or four, uh, we've we've been do dealing with how to fill in <clears throat> in a value. Well, here's a perfect uh, perfect scenario. Let's just say that the average, the mean, will work. So you're just going through and you're doing averages and you're just like, let's just do whatever the average is for the column to not throw off anything. Let's just keep it consistent. And this is how simple you do that. And it's just your data frame, fill in A with the data frames mean. It is that simple. So take the data frame mean on the columns, and then I want you to then input that inside for our missing data. And it just smooths out the numbers. I remember the first time I saw this, I was, I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. So there we go. Real quick video today, but another use uh, or another way to handle missing data but learn more about the mean method and there are a lot of and when we get very sophisticated levels multi axes just tons of ways to move through this I'm very excited at how far we've come and where we are and we're just gonna keep moving so as always, guys, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.
Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.